Look, it takes forever to finally determine that you're going to cut somebody off, man. That is a tough decision. Family member, friend. But there comes a point where the relationship gets so toxic where you're finally like, you know what? That's it. No more. It's not good for my mental health. But then you'll realize, okay, start missing that person. <laughs> Our intern Messiah is going through this right now. is wondering, like, do I reach back out? Yes. So um, growing up, I... So I'm from New York, and I moved out here uh, sophomore year of high school. And growing up, I never had best friends, like, ever. I had an acquaintance or, like, a close friend, but not enough to go on vacations with or sleepovers. And I think my mom was the type to never, like, allow me to have sleepovers. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's why I didn't really have a best friend. Um, so essentially, when I moved out here, I met a uh, friend, and I think she's listening, so I'm not even going to no. name drop. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, she was my really, she was my first best friend in life, so mm-hmm. I held her to a high standard because this is like your first relationship in a sense, and we were going on family vacations, et cetera, et cetera, but I felt like because we were so alike, we enjoyed uh, everything. We enjoyed the same things together, even the bad ones. So I felt like I had to cut her off because I wanted to better myself. And we were engaging now, like we were bonding over bad things. Like we weren't, uh, we were always uh, drinking, I felt like. Mm -hmm. And every time we were hanging out, we were now drinking. We went from like studying and stuff, Mm -hmm. but then she dropped out of school. So we kind of lost like that bonding. Yeah, in a sense. So I silently ghosted her because I didn't want to tell her about herself because in a sense it would be hypocritical because I'm working on the same things you struggle with. I'm just working a little harder. Mm -hmm. Now graduation's about to come up and this is a moment in time where we've been talking about since we've met each other and it's like, do I invite her? Do I invite her to my graduation party? Because I miss her. Like, I genuinely miss her, but I'm trying to stand on business too and mean what I say (laughs) and say what I mean. And so I told myself I wouldn't contact her because it got really bad towards the end. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't really feel like it's fair to invite her to your graduation party when you've, like, when you wrote her off. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Was it just alcohol? Um, There were other things too. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It feels like there's some, yeah, Yeah. because you just generally don't cut a best yeah, friend for, off if yeah. you're if you're at a different phase of alcohol unless you can see them like self harm and you're like I've done everything I can. Yeah. Um so there must be something else. And then also I feel like she was kind of like a chameleon. She was like that friend you had to worry about if we're going out depending on the friend group, um she kind of shifts to kind of like uh, for instance, someone could say they love bowling. This girl has never bowled a day in her life, but all of a sudden she loves bowling now. Mm. Like so that was another thing too, and I felt like she wanted to, she wanted to to kind of. I always feel like someone wants to be me. I don't know if this is this Leo energy that I have or what the case may be, but she just wanted to do a lot of things that we're just too alike. We're just too alike, mm-hmm. I should say. You didn't feel like she was being herself. You feel like it was yeah. No, I wasn't because when I met her, I kind of knew what she had to offer. So, like, as the years were going by, depending on who we were, that's who she was, in a sense. So it didn't feel like a two-way friendship anymore. It felt like she was just taking from you. Yes, for sure, for sure. How long did... Even uh, your identity? Low-key. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, How long ago was this cutoff? Ooh, so we're probably reaching, like, the six-month mark now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Normally, I would say, like, hey, life is short. You know, you have these petty differences. But here's the question that you really have to ask yourself Mm -hmm. is, she hasn't changed in six months. So Mm -hmm. if you reach back out to her and you guys start hanging out again, now it's on you because all you can do is control you. She hasn't changed. Yeah. So do you miss your friend just because it was habit? Because she's not going to be a different person. Yes, so I think I'm always I'm I think I love really hard and I always look at the good moments and within those six months like I have friends but I don't have anyone that fulfilled that spot in a sense and even though like our dynamic change like no one has been that good of a friend as she has to what, me. What did you have a conversation? Because if it's a best friend, right? Mm-hmm. Like you just wouldn't drop her and not explain anything. Yeah. Did you have like a heart to heart conversation with like hey? This needs to change. If it doesn't, we're going to have to take a break. Or did you just bounce? I just bounced, but but I had multiple conversations beforehand. Mm-hmm. And it was okay. becoming redundant. So it was like... So it's like uh, you were talking to a brick wall. Kind of. Do you really want her back in your life? Or do you more so just want her to be there for an accomplishment of yours? Mm. Mm. Ooh. A little, mm. <laughs> I think it's a little bit of both because like I said, I feel like I, I love her. I feel like 
eventually in life, I think we will come together. So I, I wanted to use, utilize, I guess, this accomplishment, period. Okay. That makes so, sense. Yeah. Because I've been the friend that's been cut off multiple mm. times and I've never understood why because I've never had somebody have a conversation with me about, you know, whatever I did mm-hmm. to make them want to cut me off. I really don't feel like you should invite her. <laughs> I feel like, I don't, think I, so I don't no. feel like you've, and this is going to sound really harsh, mm-hmm. I don't really feel like you've earned that because if mm-hmm. you've just dropped her out of nowhere, if you invite her to come celebrate you as a, as her, I'm going to be like, I haven't heard from you in six mm, months. Yeah. Like, why Confusing. Why all of a sudden do you want me back? And I, I get it. Like, if somebody's been toxic to you and it, if it's not been a healthy relationship, like, I don't blame you at all for wanting her out of, your, out of your life. I just don't think you're allowed to have the push and pull if you've made the decision to cut her off out of nowhere. I second that. Mm. Instead of trying to get her back in your life by inviting her to your graduation, how about y'all go out for coffee? Yeah. Starts true. Right. Something true. like that. Right. I mean, true. if you truly miss her and you truly miss um, her place in your life, and if you want to see if she's made any changes, mm-hmm. six months is a short period of time, I, I doubt. <laughs> but um, I would I would tiptoe in there rather than send her an invitation to your graduation because I would view that mm-hmm. as a huge slap in the face. Right. Like, yeah, where like you been? That. Right. I get that it makes it easy. <laughs> That's why I ask. Yeah. I, I, get, yeah. I get it. But if I was her, I would receive it like that, too. Like, yeah. look who remembers me now that, that you're... Like you're, mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It should be a one-on-one mm. thing if y'all ever speak okay. again. Makes sense. The Burt Show.